sometimes people look at me like I have two heads when I when I say that I think a person should hire a virtual assistant right from the start. But it's true. This is what I believe. Think about it. When you started your business, you probably had certain things in place. You got business cards. You created an LLC and took care of other legal matters. You set up an office, a bank account. You made sure your Wi-Fi was secure. You purchased software and other online tools. But right from the start, from the minute you started working with clients and customers, there was work to be done that either, number one, you're not good at, number two, you don't enjoy, number three, it doesn't create revenue, and number four, someone else can do it better. So let's say you're consulting or coaching for $100 an hour, and it's Monday and you have one client. You meet with that client and you charge that client $100. You've made $100 but you spend three hours writing the proposal, sending the contract, writing the emails, following up with the contract, filling in the notes from that client, not to mention the marketing that you're trying to do, the content creation and the sales calls. So if you're charging $100 an hour, but you spent $300 on all this other stuff, you earned negative $200. You are already in the red from the minute that you first start. If you set up your business so that somebody else is handling the tasks that are not revenue producing, you will see growth right from the start. So now, let's say you have a virtual assistant now, and it's Tuesday, and you have one client. You charge that client $100. Now, your assistant, who you're paying $4.50 an hour, and yes, that is a real number. We're going to talk about that in our next video. Your assistant is doing the three hours of admin work that you did yesterday. So now you're in the black because you have netted $86.50. But actually, if you use those three hours to get on sales calls, to write your killer webinar, to live stream, to see more clients, you are potentially in the black by hundreds or thousands of dollars because those are the revenue producing tasks that you want to be working on. Usually we look at it the other way around. We say, If I make X amount of revenue, I'll hire somebody. But the problem is with that thinking is that it takes way longer to get to X if you're spending so much of your time doing the things that don't create revenue. I wish I had realized this when I started my own business, but it took me about two years to figure it out. But I know entrepreneurs who are in the fourth, fifth, and sixth years of business and are still spinning their wheels because they have yet to understand the simple formula. You plus a VA equals growth. See you in the next video.